morning ladies and gentlemen this is another video here in Uzbekistan which is one of my favorite countries in Central Asia and uh, I spent the day in Tashkent and today we are flying to a different part of uh, Uzbekistan and we will be on the journey to Khiba and Khiba is a little city which is located uh, very close to Turkmenistan border and uh, there is no airport in Khiva as it's a very historical place but we will be flying to Urgenj and uh, after Urgenj we will take a taxi to Khiva and uh, go explore and stay in a really nice hotel for a night and uh, I will try to show you the beauty of another part of uh, uh, Uzbekistan and this is the domestic airport which you can see just behind me it's actually very tiny we have a little coffee shop on one side there is a souvenir shop on the other side and this is the whole terminal basically and then um, the flights uh, are happening in this area they take you with the bus and then take you to the plane for a flight we have approximately one hour and ten minutes flight so it's gonna be a really short one and also I want to mention that people normally do different route. Uh, normally you take a Tashkent, Samarkand, uh, Bukhara and then Khiva. But I'm doing a different approach. I'm taking actually long way first, Khiva, and then on the way I will be back to Tashkent. So I start at the end and finish again in the capital city in the Tashkent. No, <laughs> Uh, no, best problem, Pajasta. <laughs> so, best problem. So, I'm actually, he was actually charging uh, his phone, and I was like, there's also on the other side, but he came to straight to here. And uh, I'm having a little breakfast. I want to show you what I am having, and afterwards I will tell you the price of it at the airport. So, I'm having this kind of like a pancakes it's called bilinchik it's a russian pancake basically inside it's a meat and this one is my dessert it's gonna be inside is actually a cottage cheese um, so this one is tvarok uh, it's basically cottage cheese so this one is actually sweet and this one gonna be my main meal uh, for for the breakfast and uh, as a total i'm paying actually 55,000 som and 55,000 som it sounds huge number because in Uzbekistan there is a huge inflation as well actually the price of it is approximately four dollar and thirty American cents so we are paying a little bit more than four dollars uh, for, for a breakfast so I'm also traveling with only little luggage so as I will be there only a few days so I'm taking a only handbag and we'll be traveling around in Kiva so let's try out this Blinchik, which is with meat inside. Mm. So good. Look at this. It's actually plenty of meat inside. So one of this is comes around like two American dollars, basically one one package. And as I'm a huge guy, I need four of them as a dessert and as a main meal. It's very good. I'm gonna finish enjoy my breakfast experience and later on we have a flight in approximately one hour and a half so i will see you later on guys see you in Khiva. International Airport but our final destination gonna be Kiva so now we need to get out take a taxi and that will be our next journey guys Urgenj and Kiva is in much south part of Uzbekistan as I have mentioned it's on the border with 
Turkmenistan, not exactly on the border, but very close to the border. And uh, the temperature here is always much more higher than Tashkent and other places in Uzbekistan. So we should expect some crazy heat, but especially during the summer month, it can get really unbearable, like really crazy hot. As you can see, all around us there is nothing, no mountains, no trees, uh, only these are planted by the people uh, for the airport, but in general the area of the Urgenj, including Khiva, is very dry, it's basically a desert, and in the desert there's a beautiful town, beautiful castle, and the city popped up while uh, the Silk Road was passing through Uzbekistan. So that's our destination. We are gonna go to Khiva. At the moment we arrived to this little airport, Urgenj International Airport. I don't have a luggage, so we're gonna straight go out, try to get a taxi for ourselves. Normally when you're traveling in capital city in Uzbekistan, you can use application called Yandex but uh, it doesn't seem like working in here in Urgenj or in general in this region so we have to get a taxi right from here uh, let's see da khiva mosna da skoka 300000 Okay, let me let me see. Da da da. Uh, Skoka dollar? Dollar, no, thirty почти. Ah, thirty. No, no, it's uh, twenty-three. Da, twenty-five, boy. Twenty-five. Okay. Da. Okay. Okay. Поехали. Только один, да? Да, один. Okay. So we are getting a deal for. Uh, спасибо. We are getting a deal for three hundred thousand, and it's actually over 30 kilometer right and we're gonna pay around 23 american dollars da uh у меня есть hotel for a for a one for a one da 5 km не 6 km не доезжай да 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 okay багаж поставить или а здесь да салон all right we're gonna leave our luggage right here hotel for a one Okay, so we're gonna take a journey for around 40 minutes and it's approximately 33 kilometers from here, Urgenj to Khiva, but uh, the hotel I'm staying at, which is called Farawan, and it's actually near, uh, near than Khiva itself, so five kilometer before, uh, before Khiva. Five kilometer, da? Не доезжая, да, Super, Rahmat, thank you. All right, we are on a journey. Three hundred thousand som we're gonna pay for our journey for approximately forty minutes. Or, uh, journey and this is the way from Urgenj city airport airport to the city Ooh, nice wow such a beautiful place Tashakur Thank you very much. Three, three hundred and thirty-six. Three hundred and thirty-six. Rahmat. Ладно, счастливо, удачи вам. Сумку не забудьте. Да, да, да. Ладно, очень приятно. Вам тоже. Спасибо. Спасибо. Рахмат, Рахмат. Тогда дальше машину не надо вам, да? Не, 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 не. Спасибо, Рахмат, Рахмат. Let's take our little bag. Спасибо, Рахмат. До свидания. We are checking into some fancy hotel here, which looks very quiet at the moment. And uh, but I do have a reservation already, so they should be expecting me. Let's see if this. Oh, it does work. I don't have to push it myself. Let's check it out. This fancy hotel check-in experience. Wow, that looks fantastic. Very nice. We have a waterfall kinda. 
I think the check-in will be happening right here. Assalamu alaikum. How are you guys? I want to check in. I have a reservation for one night. No worries. We have a kind of like a wall waterfall. That looks so fancy. This is definitely the fanciest place I have been in Uzbekistan. In my last trip, I was staying in the hostels and guest houses, but uh, that's like three years ago, and now I can afford a little bit more luxury and also show you what's possible here. The, the design of the ceiling is so beautiful. I really like it. We have two huge columns, and I think all the rooms are upstairs. They also have a restaurant area right there. I will get the, my keys and then afterwards I'm gonna show you the room as well where I stay. So, see you in a while. All together, yeah. okay. Is it okay if I film inside? No, no problem. Yeah, no problem, all right. Thank you. Okay. All right, we're gonna go check out uh, where's the pool as well as our gym before we get into our room. We have already checked in and I'm staying in a 204. Wow, such a huge hotel. I haven't expected it to be this big. Is this the best hotel in Uzbekistan? Sorry? Is this the best hotel yes. in Uzbekistan? Yes. yes. In Khiva for sure, but maybe in Uzbekistan there is better hotels in Tashkent. I'm not so sure. All right, we have some artwork here on the walls and then this is the garden area which we're gonna have a look right after the gym experience and it seems like this is where we have everything else there's a Hiva restaurant wow such a huge place we already came to the other end of the hotel thank you oh very nice this is the toilet on the right side, and I think yeah. changing room. Okay, yeah. okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to see the gym first. Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful. We have a huge TV here, some dumbbells, up to 10 kilogram. I can actually come do a little bit of workout, and then this is all the cardio machines. We have a bench press, mirrors and balls, and then and a more cardio machines here. And we also have the bench for the dumbbells super cute and little gym here very nice thank you and the swimming pool is through here okay yes. okay thank you i hope no one is naked here <laughs> thank you wow that looks so nice very beautiful 1.6 meters deep pool i think this is for kind of like a weird pool and for kids there's a space to relax chill and then we also have a sauna i believe oh thank you oh wow fantastic thank you so much this is the sauna as well and a huge pool area to relax and enjoy i'm already impressed before even i saw my hotel room so i will show you the garden as well and then later on we go to the room I will give you the full tour as well. So see you in a while, guys. Thank you. Wow, look at this, guys. This is the whole garden area. The hotel itself looks very empty at the moment. I'm not sure if it's too hot. That's why people are not out. Or uh, I think people just went out to explore. Uh, because in the surroundings of the hotel, there's not much to see, actually. Everything you need to see is you need to go to the Ichan Kala, which is the main part, all the historical parts. But outside the castle area, it's a new city and you can find these fancy hotels and uh, the, all the people, that's where they live. But uh, I really appreciate this cuteness here, kind of like a garden area. There is a wall, <coughs> um, Favara, I, I forgot the word. Uh, with the water and uh, there's lots of uh, nice places to sit very traditional looks beautiful incredible all right i will get into the room guys and then i will show you the rest of the experience as well 
I was keep thinking to myself, what was the word? Fountain is the English word. I was like, favara, favara is in local language. Fountain is the right word I was looking for. All right, we have arrived to our room. Two, one, four. Let's go check it out to see what to expect. Ooh, so nice. Wow, fantastic. Woohoo! The colors of it and the ambience, it looks no different than the fanciest hotels I have stayed and uh, it's no different than actually any European hotel you can stay at. I think even better than some of the European hotels. Uh, definitely amount I pay, which I pay approximately 90 American dollars to stay in this hotel. So we're gonna go check it out and learn what comes with the room. We also have a balcony and a nice views, which I will give you the full tour in a while. So you have to be a little bit uh, patient with me. So this is our overview of the hotel room, which looks incredible. We have some space here to relax and chill. We have a double bed, which looks very comfy already before even I jump in there. There's some artwork on the wall. And uh, one of the things I appreciate is the color combination. Like it doesn't make your eyes tired. Like it looks so pleasing and so relaxing at the same time. We have a space here to work. And uh, if you do get some room service food, you can eat here as well. We have a huge TV. We have uh, some fresh plant. Uh, that's actually real plant, which looks great. And uh, there's a space to open up your luggage. There's a space for you to get ready to go out. It comes with some tea and coffee. These are all the basics. I mean, $90. This is an amazing room already, I'm impressed. We have a mini bar fridge, but uh, there's no mini bar available. Seems like 90% uh, of the hotels I go in the last one, two years, the, the mini bar is always empty. I don't know, maybe hotels have really bad experience with the guests and that's the reason but normally you don't see mini bars anymore and we have the wardrobe area right in this corner and uh, we have a safe we have a iron very nice and uh, iron table as well available right here and i think the second most important part of uh, any hotel room is actually the toilet toilets is probably the 50 percent important in the, in the room bed is the one part but the second part is the toilet and the shower area for sure so let's go and do a little tour as well here as soon as we enter we have a huge mirror in front of us and uh, also a nice and huge area for for your things to be put on and there's a little sink in front of it and uh, we have bathtub available but at the same time uh, shower available also and it's actually a rain head shower and when we turn to the right side we have the toilet as well here on this corner very beautiful and a huge space to turn around do your business as comfortably as you can all right and as an important part of this room is going to be our views to the garden area which we have visited only a few seconds ago check this out guys this is our beautiful balcony which is decorated actually very nicely we have a huge lamps in one here and then one on the other corner and as soon as you get out this is the views you get to the garden area i am super impressed this is type of a hotel probably i never expected to see in uzbekistan and especially for this amount of money probably this type of hotels will be much more expensive in Tashkent in the capital city and probably you cannot find this much space uh, but meanwhile we are in Khiva we have probably this is the best hotel you can find in the Khiva region and 90 American dollars guys including breakfast we have a gym we have a pool we have a balcony nice room and also very nice service with the people who speaks English. And another important thing is the beautiful garden area with all these fountains 
are functioning during the middle of the day actually all right guys super impressed about the room and i will actually take some time to work out and then later on we're gonna go uh, explore the Khiva, which is the inner city and uh, it's called Ichankala and that's that means inner city and we will go visit and it's only five kilometers from here so I think 10-15 minutes we will make our way to, to the Ichankala so I will try to show you the rest of the experience as well but for now saying bye bye to you guys we'll see you later Very, very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We have just arrived to Khiva. And Khiva is one of my most favorite cities actually in Uzbekistan. And that's the reason actually I took a straight flight from Tashkent, from the capital city, to arrive to Urgenj. And where I'm staying at the hotel, it's actually only 10 minutes away. So there's a possibility actually you can stay in the inner city, which is covered with these walls behind me. But I decided to stay a little bit more fancy and I just travel here with taxi for only 10 minutes drive and you arrive to this beautiful and very historical city. So what you see in front of us is actually the walls of the inner city. And um, uh, this is the entrance, but uh, to the inner city there's actually multiple different entrances. And this is I think one of the most uh, famous ones as all the taxis are here, all different businesses and buses I think arrive here to bring the tourists to the inner city and uh, you can imagine we are just at the moment entering to the history and it's super iconic to be here and you can imagine all the caravans caravans are basically the set of camels which were traveling from one side of the world to another one and it was called Silk Road so Khiva was part of the Silk Road and that's why the city is built so beautifully all right this is gonna be our entrance and the first impressions of uh, Khiva seems like we have to pay or how does it work I don't know Assalamu alaikum Azerbaijan Azerbaijan, да. Вход бесплатно. Бесплатно, да. Спасибо. Музей платно. А музей? Is this музей? Okay. Спасибо. Рахмат. Thank you. So it seems like the entrance to the inner city is actually free, but to the museum it's actually paid. So guys, this is a this is the probably the most iconic views you will ever get possibly in this series in Uzbekistan. Check this out. This is our beautiful views to the minaret and this is actually built 1851 so 19th century it's not super old but it's old enough and it's impressive enough as a as a building and the uh, inner city itself is actually dated back to 16th century 16 and some sources say 18th century in any case uh, it's around 500 up to 600 years old uh, establishment was here during the Silk Road. So they actually have a full map here and uh, we just arrived and entered actually right from here. So this is the minaret we were seeing, but the inner city is itself is quite huge and there are lots of things to see and explore. We are welcomed with this beautiful hats, which you can actually take a picture with them and pay or you can decide actually purchase one of this this is all traditional hats and made from the wool I believe and some of them are just for winter some of them are just for the way to dress up like um, just a fashion thing I see some artwork already here yeah man I'm super super happy to be here in Khiva this is definitely one of my favorites and uh, the colors, especially the bluish colors on the minarets, all those buildings and as well as uh, blue domes you will see while you travel in Uzbekistan is just very beautiful and super calming as well. I actually been here, there's actually a hotel located inside and uh, it's also a very historical building 
This building is much older than the minaret itself. Minaret is built later on, but still minaret is considered actually part of this uh, building as well. So these are all the touristic souvenirs you can take home if you like. And you can take pictures with the hats. You can buy some beautiful paintings to take home. Everything looks so attractive and all of this artworks as well everything is very traditional wow <laughs> to be exact i had been here actually three years ago and uh, that time i was totally backpacker so i was just traveling with the low budget and uh, making vlogs and that time i actually had probably 2,000, 3,000 subscribers on YouTube and that time actually didn't even monetize my channel yet and I just try I tried to make some videos and if you go back in my channel you can actually find some of the old videos and uh, watch them they are very short and probably not the not the best way I talk and interact but uh, you can go check it out and it's part of my channel so you can you can check it out so in comparison with the three years back i see that there are lots of uh, new businesses here i believe this restaurant wasn't even here or maybe it was some different establishment but there are much more different businesses currently uh, i remember there was a camel and there is still camel here so i think by this they are trying to create the vibe of silk road so silk road is basically the caravans were passing by from here and actually Khiva city was uh, was the one uh, people were coming to rest and relax and get some water and afterwards they were entering to the Persian desert and uh, that was kind of their last stop in this area before they could have a water and food and afterwards uh, feed their camels and then move to the uh, Persian desert yeah, Khiva, such a beautiful place, guys. And more and more hat shops right here. I wonder what are the prices of these uh, hats here. You might actually get some traditional hat. I really like this shop. You can get some traditional looking clothes for the ladies. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? In English? Yes. Yes, a little bit? Oh, good. I'm happy to you speak English. Do you have a hat? Uzbeki hat? Yes, for me. This is all for ladies? Ah, bu kızlarsın. Yok, oğlanlarsın. Oğlanlarsın. Okay. Ah, unisex. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, how much? How much? Skoka? Bu so this is like a hundred thousand Uzbek soms. This is actually looking very beautiful. I see Azerbaijan flag there. There's a blue, uh, green and red, which looks beautiful. But I also like this. Ah, no, no, no. No, I, I like this one. This is handmade. This is handmade. Yes, handmade. Hundred thousand. Okay. Do you have a discount? No, this is 130,000. Ah, you make me discount. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna try it. Can you film me? I will try it out. You have to tell me, I look good or no? Beautiful. I look fantastic? Yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. I will pay you. Ah, yeah, there's a mirror. All right, let's check it out. Ah, okay. I look good. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna pay 100. There's a 150. It's my present for you. No. Padarek. Spasiba. No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. It's for you. Thank you. Bye bye. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Alright, we got a traditional hat for ourselves, guys. And there's some music here. But it's a quite an enjoyable experience just to walk around. There's actually restaurants here too, if you want to get some food and it's quite a 
beautiful views guys and another thing you will notice that here the people are not uh, chasing you no one is trying to uh, probably they can charge you a little bit extra than others as you are tourist but no one will be trying to scam you or try to get money out of you like everyone just sitting and waiting for customers no one really like comes on your way to take your attention all right we will do a little bit more exploration then after i have my favorite place which i want to go there's a terrace area we will sit down and have some uh, early dinner or some snacks we will see <laughs> 